What's going on today? Hey, I have a percolator. You ever buy those percolator filters? You know, they look like this. Yeah, well, I bought some of those, right? Put it in my percolator. What a mess. No, no, do not put those in. I don't know what your experience is. If you've tried them, don't put them in your percolator. But I tell you what, I have a French press. Guess where these percolator filters are best used? You guessed it, in the French press. Yeah, so here you take the percolator filter and assemble it into the French press. So you put the screen on here like this. This is how the French press goes together. Put the filter on the screen and then put the rest of the French press together. And that will filter out most of the coffee grinds in your French press. This is so much better. So back to the percolator, because we're making coffee with the percolator. You know what we're going to use for a filter in the percolator? The automatic drip. Why? Because we get automatic drip coffee. That's all you can get at the store now. That or beans, so you need to buy your own grinder. Automatic drip filter in the percolator. So here I punched a hole through the filter. This is the filter that goes in the automatic drip coffee maker. Just punch a hole through the center and then squish it around the sides. Make sure you get it in there and uh, you press it up against the side. This thing works perfectly. Nothing wrong with this. Now let's get some coffee in here and take a look at how that works. Why the automatic drip filter? Because the coffee you buy in the supermarket is ground for an automatic drip coffee maker. That's what they expect. When it says ground, that's what it's ground for. They expect you to use this filter. They expect you to use an automatic drip coffee maker. Years ago, there used to be coffee ground for percolators, and you could buy that in the grocery store. But they don't sell that anymore. It's either beans or it's ground, and ground is automatic drip. So put the automatic drip filter in your basket for your percolator, put your automatic drip coffee in there, and it comes out just fine. Assemble the parts. Plug it in, listen to it perking, wait for the light to come on, and your coffee is done. As we can see, the light is on, so let's get a cup and pour some of that coffee and see what it looks like. As I mentioned, I bought this coffee maker because it's all stainless steel. I want to get rid of plastics in my cooking, and the coffee maker is something that I use a lot of. I drink a lot of coffee. So let's have a look. Now, I had to use the automatic drip coffee grounds because that's what I had. So you could buy a coffee grinder and grind it to a more coarse grind, which is better for the percolator. Uh, but this works for now to get you started. And look at that beautiful cup of coffee. Isn't that beautiful? Now you can adjust this, more coffee, less coffee, and figure out what works best for you. But that's a beautiful cup of coffee. Nothing wrong with the percolator.